Are you a degenerate? If not, by the end of this you probably will be, or you might hate me. But if you already are, when you use your terminal, do you feel like something is missing? You're missing some encouragement when things go wrong. You're missing some praise when things go well. There's just something missing from your terminal life that you really feel needs to be there. Well, luckily for you, Shell Mummy is here to satisfy all of those needs. When you run a command and that command goes well, it can give you some praise. That's a pretty boring one. Let's try another one. It's the exact same message. That wasn't intentional. This time, it gives us something a little bit more suitable. And these messages are going to be different every single time. Some of them, you know, get a little bit degenerate. Um, you know, whatever you're into. Now, setting it up is very simple. It is just a bash script, so go and pull down the repo, copy the code, whatever your preferred method is going to be. And then inside of your bash RC, right now it only supports bash, I'll get into why in just a bit, but inside of your bash RC, there is one of two options. One is you can have it only run when you specifically want it to run. Maybe you want to go and like hide your shame and not have it be run after every single command. Only be run when you really know that nobody's around to judge you. The other option is to have it be run all of the time. If you just want it to be run when you tell it to run, all you need to do is source the script. In this case, I've got it located in my home directory because after this video is done, I am going to delete it. So like this, if I want to use it, what we do is run mummy and then whatever command we want to run, in this case, ls, and then it will give us whatever the output is going to be. But maybe you have absolutely no shame. You are a degenerate all the way through to your core. What you can do then is have it run after every single command. So you still need to make sure you are sourcing the script. The other thing you need to do is modify your prompt command. Now, this is a command over on the GitHub. So feel free to go and copy this. And if you have this set up, it's going to automatically run the command for every single command you run. So let's go back into bash. And if I run git something or other, it's going to tell me something because I made a mistake. If we run ls, it's going to give me some praise for doing something well. Now, you've probably noticed Discord Kitten. That's not the way it's set up by default. I set it to Discord Kitten because I think that is a funny term. If you want to go and modify it and modify pretty much anything in the application, this is going to be done with some environment variables. So what it calls you is controlled with shell mummies little. In this case, I set it to Discord Kitten. This could be literally anything you want. You can also change how the application refers to itself. This is done with shell mummies roles. So let's set this to something like, I don't know, daddy, for example. And then because it makes sense, you probably also want to go and modify the pronouns being used. So this is done with shell mummies pronouns. Let's set this one to his. And now we have the most degenerate version. So let's go and run it again. And there you go. So you can fulfill any desire you might have. Now, with the default text there, it, you know, could get a little bit weird with uh, certain names. Maybe you want to have it be, instead of uh, Discord Kitten here, you want it to be Sinner. And you want to change this one to um, Jesus, for example. So now, you know, it might work. Let's run a couple of them. Again, again, again. Jesus thinks his little sinner earned a big hug. It doesn't exactly um, fit the theming. So what you can do instead is set full custom responses. This is done with shell mummy's negative responses and shell mummy's positive responses. For example, um, the developer added this feature because he wanted to talk like Samuel L. Jackson. You know, whatever you're into, I guess. Um, so if you want to go and use these specific ones, go ahead and do so. Maybe you want it to be more like Jesus. 
Maybe you want it to be like a VTuber. I don't know. Whatever you're into, go ahead and have fun with it. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever raises your flag. Whatever scores a home run. Other loosely veiled innuendo. And if you feel like the command is talking a little bit too much, what you can do is only have it respond on the negative. So if we go and add a new environment variable, this one is going to be shell mummies only negative. If we set this one to true and then go and run it again. Now, if we go and run regular commands, it's all good. If we now go and fail a git command, now it'll give us some encouragement. As I mentioned though, on the bright side, it only works in bash. The dev is trying to fix this. Maybe that's not a good thing, but he is aware that it does have issues and it will complain that parts of the script are not going to function. So possibly it is going to be a little bit rewritten and one day will work in ZSH. So you can be a degenerate on another shell. Maybe a fish version will happen and then you can be a degenerate on any system you want. If you couldn't tell, this video is 100% serious, absolutely no jokes whatsoever. None at all. Zero. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you going to run this? Do you now hate me? I would love to know. Uh, if you like this video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, and the bearer pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.